Hey guys, you might be wondering, isn't this a video that comes up when I search up fairy tale mispronunciations? Well, you're not wrong, but we've decided to hide our shame and update this 107 on one of my favorite shows. Hey guys, my name is Adrian the Cartoon Hangover, and today we're gonna take you through 107 facts about fairy tale. Let's get started. Fairy tale was created by Hiro Mashima, who was born on May 3rd, 1977, in Nagano, Japan. Mashima said that his passion for illustration started at a young age when his grandfather would bring him home discarded manga that he'd then read through and trace. Shows that inspired and influenced Mashima Mashima's work include Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and Ultimate Muscle. When creating the story, Mashima drew inspiration from his friends by imagining what it would be like if they were all magicians. After school, Mashima decided to go to a school specifically for manga artists, but quickly realized it wasn't for him and dropped out. Instead of traditional studying practices, he watched films like Braveheart and Lord of the Rings to learn skills like framing and angles which he used in his works. Mashima began his career with an original piece called Magician, which he showed to editors. Those editors suggested he enter manga competitions which inevitably led to his publication and later his first serialization, Rave Master. The first chapter of the fairy tale manga was printed in August 2006 in Weekly Shonen Magazine number 35, which was published by Kodansha, the top grossing publisher in Japan. While working on fairy tale, Mashima was wrapping up Rave Master, which was published in the same magazine. Rave Master ended as fairy tale was starting to pick up steam. There have been some cameos from Rave and fairy tale, and the two works eventually crossed paths in 2011 when fairy tale x Rave was printed in Magazine Special, another magazine published by Kodansha. The first volume of Fairy Tale was released in December of 2006 in Japan, while the United States didn't see a translated version until March of 2008. The manga was later adapted into anime by A1 Pictures, the same studio behind Black Butler, Sword Art Online, and many others, as well as Studio Satellite. The first anime episode aired in Japan in October 2009 and was written by Masashi Sogo and directed by Shinji Ishihara. Much like the manga, the US didn't see an English translation of the anime for a couple years. The first episode aired in September the following year. The characters in Fairy Tale are based off of people in Mashima's life, but did you know that Natsu was actually based on Mashima himself, specifically how he was in junior high? When asked if Grey was based on anyone, specifically the character's infatuation with removing clothing, Mashima laughed, saying that trait was also based on something he does. Between volumes 1 and 43, Grey has worn 55 distinct outfits. Despite owning that much clothing, he's appeared naked a thousand and eight times in the same amount of manga, and that's excluding cover art and dream sequences. Mashima's main characters are named after seasons. Haru from Rave Master translate to Spring, Aki from Monster Soul translates to Autumn, Shiki from Monster Hunter Oragi translates to Four Seasons, and Natsu from Fairy Tale translates to Summer. Mashima said he named his characters after seasons that relate to their personality. Natsu is fiery and reckless, hence he was attributed to the hottest season of the year. Fairy Tale is Mashima's favorite work that he's produced, and was also his longest running project. Natsu is the Fire Dragon Slayer. According to Mashima, his signature move is Fire Dragon's Iron Fist. Lucy uses celestial spirit magic and was named while Mashima was listening to the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Grey has seen smoke in early chapters of the manga, but this was never put into the anime. Happy was originally going to be named after the Norse god of sacral kingship, Freyr, but Mashima decided that it didn't fit his witty character. Wendy appeared as a cameo in the anime before she was ever introduced in the manga. Wendy is the sky dragon slayer, but she was originally planned to be the water dragon slayer. Gajiel's name comes from a mix of Gaji Gaji, which is a Japanese onomatopoeia for a person eating, and Kajiru, which translates to bite. I guess the wordplay doesn't really translate that well in English, because in Japanese it sounds like Gajiru. Natsu was originally going to be dressed in red, but it was later changed to black in order for there to be a higher contrast between his outfit and his fire. Mavis Vermilion, Pract Gabolg, Ward Sequin, and Yuri Dreyar are the founding members of the Fairy Tale Guild. Pract goes by the name of Hades, a direct reference to the god of the underworld in Greek mythology. Pract's last name, Gabolg, is also a reference to mythology. In Irish myth, the Gabolg is a legendary spear made from the bone of a sea monster named the Coin Shen. The spear was given to Ku Shulain during the Ulster Cycle. When founding the Fairy Tale Guild, Pract suggested naming it the Pract Brothers, though a serious suggestion it was taken as a joke and rejected. Urza's concept art depicted her with messy hair, primal fur clothing, and a spear. Mashima wanted her to be a character Natsu was afraid of. Through translation errors, Lucy was given the birth date of July 1st in an English scanlation of chapter 85. Though not included in the official volume release, this fact stuck with fans, who bombarded Mashima's Twitter with birthday wishes for the character. He responded with confusion at first, asking if maybe he'd forgotten that he gave her a birthday. Later, after some apparent digging, he tweeted that the birth date was an error and that Lucy's day of birth is still unknown in Japan. Dragon Slayers suffer from kinetosis, more commonly known as motion sickness. It's unsure why Dragon Slayers suffer with this ailment, but some fan theories suggest that it's a result the body takes once they advance to a higher level, while others attribute it to Dragon Slayers being unable to adjust to their enhanced abilities. In episode 161, Gajil questions this newly acquired illness. Sting responds by congratulating Gajil for becoming a true Dragon Slayer. The fact that all Dragon Slayers share the same weakness is confirmed by Rogue Shaney. When asked if he gets motion sickness like Natsu, Mashima said no, but admitted he 
was afraid of heights and airplanes. He also said that he has a friend that gets sick while simply riding taxis. Could this possibly be where he pulled the Dragon Slayer's weakness from? Comment down below if you think so. If for some reason a Dragon Slayer considers the vehicle to be more of an ally than a mode of transportation, the Dragon Slayer won't get motion sickness. For example, Natsu can be carried around by Happy without any issues. Dragon Slayers have heightened senses, allowing them to see, hear, and smell better than others. First generation Dragon Slayers, which include Natsu, Gajil, and Wendy, learn their magic from dragons and are considered the original Dragon Slayers. Second generation Dragon Slayers, Laxus and Cobra, are considered artificial Dragon Slayers, since instead of gaining their magic from an actual dragon, they gain their powers from Dragon Lacrima. Lacrima is Latin for teardrop, but in fairy tale, Lacrima is a crystal structure. Third generation Dragon Slayers, Rogue and Sting, gain their powers both from Dragon Lacrima and proper training from a dragon. Alright guys, I'm gonna give a spoiler alert because a lot of you were mad that this was a spoiler in the last one, so turn back now if you want. At the end of episode 122, after a devastating attack by Acnologia, the Black Dragon of the Apocalypse, that wipes out an entire island with the core members of Fairy Tail on it, there's a notably large jump in time of 7 years. The group of Fairy Tail members on the island during the attack was named Team Tenro, after the name of the island. The team was created during the X784 S Class Mage Promotion Trial. The Jigglebutt Gang, which appeared in episode 126 of Fairy Tail, are actually recurring characters in Mashima's previous work, Rave Master, and have names Wonderful Goke, Kaelin Berg, and Tetsu Inada. The Fairy Tail Guild has names within it. Team Natsu includes Natsu, obviously, Happy, Lucy, Urza, Grey, Wendy, and Carla. The Thunder God tribe consists of Laxus, Evergreen, Freed, and Bixlow. Shadow Gear is made up of Levy, Troy, and Jet. Osprey Squad includes Alzac and Biska. However, not everyone in the Fairy Tail Guild is part of a team. Gajil, Juvia, Elfman, Lisana, Panther Lily, Romeo, Loki, and others aren't part of any team. The cat creatures like Happy, that accompany some of the characters in Fairy Tail, are called Exceed. While the Exceed are shown to have the typical pointed cat ears, Panther Lily has them rounded, like a real panther. This applies to both his larger form and his chibi form. Excluding the Exceed, Magic and Edelos works by imbuing items with magical objects like Lacrima. Unlike Edelos, Magic is stored within the body of creatures on Earthland, much like the Exceed. Loxus and Cobra are the only Dragon Slayers that don't have an Exceed companion. They also both happen to be second generation Dragon Slayers, which as we learned earlier means they weren't trained by a dragon and instead gained their magic through a Lacrima. Though it hasn't been officially noted, this seems like a plausible reasoning behind their lack of kitty companions. Loxus's name is based on looks, which is an SI unit used when measuring illuminance. Originally, Lucy was supposed to use cards of her celestial spirits instead of keys, but it would change after Machima thought it would too closely resemble another show that used cards. And if you don't know the anime series that they're talking about, God help your soul. I'm kidding, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Or is it Card Capture Sakura? Though Lucy isn't the only member of Fairy Tail with housing, every time she enters her apartment, there's always one or more fellow guild members hanging out inside. This typically leads to her kicking them out in a fit of rage. When asked about the future relationship of Lucy and Natsu, Mashima responded that in a hypothetical scenario where the two had a son, he would be called Nashi. Nashi is the word for non-existent in Japanese. I guess it's pretty clear how he feels about those two getting together. Sheesh. Kinana was cursed at a young age, being turned into a serpent named Kubelios. During that time, she was under the ownership of Cobra before being turned back into a human by Makarov. Mashima wanted Makarov to have a Russian-sounding name. While Mashima, mission accomplished, because Makarov is the name of a Russian pistol used as a primary sidearm by the Soviet Union's military and police force from 1951 to 1991. Mashima also wanted to give Mira Jane a vaguely Russian-sounding name, but instead ended up naming her after a pal from an online game. A film titled Fairy Tale Phoenix Priestess was released in Japan in August 2012 and took place after the time jump. Phoenix Priestess was directed by Masaya Fujimori, who was the animation director for Pokemon the first movie. Upon its release, the film ranked number 9 in total box office ticket sales. The number 1 that weekend was The Avengers. It also grossed over $750,000 at the box office and received some pretty positive reviews. In March of 2013, the Weekly Shonen magazine reported that the fairy tale anime was ending despite being in the middle of an arc. To clarify, Mashima tweeted out some vaguely hopeful words, stating that though he's unable to say anything, there are good things to come. He then followed that tweet with an even more vague tweet in English. The tweet read, Anime is not the end. Don't stop believing. Cue the journey track. Episode 175 aired on March 30, 2013 in Japan and marked the ending of the first fairy tale anime series. Shortly after the episode ends, To Be Continued appears on the screen, giving light to Mashima's tweets. Over one year passed before fairy tale returned. In April of 2014, the second series picked up where the last left off. However, instead of satellite, Studio Bridge took over for animation. Despite having the same director, fans know noticed numerous differences between the two series, most notably the change in character design like the thinning of character outlines. This change was made so the characters in the anime more closely resembled their manga counterparts and came with new art director Shigeru Morimoto. In the English dub of the anime, Christopher Sabat voices Elfman. Sabat has voiced many characters from various Dragon Ball series and movies, including Vegeta, Piccolo, Yamcha, Mr. Popo, Kami, Shenron, Korin, and more. Natsu's English voice actor, Tob Haberkorn, also has an impressive list of characters.
characters including Death the Kid of Soul Eater, Kerodo of Sergeant Frog, and Italy of Italia Axis Powers and World Series. Lei Sheremy, the voice of Lucy in the English dub, also does the voices for Asuna of Sword Art Online, Lopman of Digimon Fusion, and Sailor Venus of Sailor Moon. Happy's voice actor in the English dub, Tia Ballard, was also behind Hannah of Attack on Titan and Chiho of The Devil is a Part-Timer. Hinamashima said if a live-action version of Fairy Tail were made in America, he would want to cast Johnny Depp as Happy. There have been several handheld Fairy Tail video games released in Japan for the PlayStation Portable and Nintendo DS. None of those titles have been released to Western audiences. On the cover of Fairy Tail Zareph's Awakening, Gildart's hair is colored dirty blonde instead of his normal orange. The name Kana was derived from the major Arcana tarot cards, which correlates with her use of magic cards. Kana is a heavy drinker to the point of alcoholism, but is rarely drunk. And no, that's not due to her magic. Happy's carried several members of Fairy Tail, but seems to have trouble carrying Lucy, claiming that she's heavy. Mashima strongly values life, which is why he says he'll depict a character's passing, but through plot, claimed they never actually died. He also said he'll never resurrect a character already proclaimed dead. The celestial spirit Plu was originally a character in Rave Master, debuting in the first chapter. Mashima said that Plu can be anywhere, including our world, and considers Plu to be his pet. Plu is considered more of a pet since he has no combat skills. Despite that, Mira Jane believes Plu to be the strongest spirit. Starting at episode 185, Altier's eyes are shown as red instead of brown. Lucy was originally thought of not as a strong female protagonist, but as a character readers could strongly relate to. Several times throughout the anime, a job request post depicting the Loch Ness monster can be seen. Bacchus is exclusively shown intoxicated, which makes sense given he shares his name with the Greek god of wine, Dionysus, or as the Romans call him, Bacchus. Kinata's character design was based on Kina Kobayashi, one of Hiromashima's assistants. Mashima admitted that Levi was originally meant to be a background character. Natsu's scarf was given to him by his foster father, Igneel, the Fire Dragon King. During a battle with Zaref, the scar absorbs a black magic attack, causing it to turn black. Before Wendy could heal Natsu, she had to remove the black magic from the scarf. Panther Lily and Samuel have the same ability to enter a battle, which temporarily gives them a significantly large physique. Similarly, Makarov's main form of magic lets him grow exponentially in size, warranting the name Giant. The guild Lamia scale alludes to Greek mythology with both its name and symbol. Lamia was turned into a monster by Hera, giving her the lower half of a snake and the habit of eating children. In the extra contents of Volume 1, earlier drawings of Natsu show him with horns. Natsu replenishes his energy by eating fire, but is unable to consume the flames which he creates. Early in the series, Lucy asks Natsu why he doesn't eat his own fire. He replies by comparing it to her eating her celestial spirits. Former Fairy Tail member Bob created the Blue Pegasus Guild in X764. He was the first and is currently the Guild Master. The Guild, Quattro Cerberus, was also founded by an X Fairy Tail member named Goldmine. The Barum Alliance is a pact between the three strongest dark guilds, Arashion Seis, Grimoire Heart, and Tartaros. When asked if he'd like to be a guest for a comic series, Majima replied that he'd like to work on Spider-Man, Batman, or the X-Men. At the 2015 Behind the Voice Actor Awards, Fairy Tail was nominated for three awards, Best Ensemble, Best Lead Male, and Best Supporting Female Vocal Performance in an Anime Television Series. Jamie Marchi won the award for Best Female Vocal Performance in a Supporting Role for her role as Kana Alberona. And at the 2016 BTVA Awards, Fairy Tail won for the Best Female Lead Vocal Performance with Colleen Clinkenbeard's character, Urza Scarlet. Before the anime was released, Mashima said in an interview that he would love to work with Pixar. If that had come true, we may have had a very different fairy tale today. Mashima did a breakdown of his work ethic for fairy tale, saying, On Monday, I work on the script and storyboards. On Tuesday, I work on the rough sketches. Then Wednesday through Friday, I finish the drawings and inking. The hardest part about being a manga artist, Mashima admitted, was the lack of time he had to spend with his daughter. It was confirmed in July of 2017 that fairy tale would be coming back for a final anime season to air in 2018. Mashima confirmed it'll be the last season as he previously completed work on his manga's final chapter of the series. A special issue is set to debut on July 2017 and wrap up Fairy Tail after more than a decade. Thanks for watching Cartoon Hangover's 107 Facts You Should Know About Fairy Tail, The Fixed Edition. If you like this one, perhaps you'd like some of these other shows. And if there's another show that we need to cover, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for sharing your Cartoon Hangover with us.